I'm Steve Croft and I'm here with Wei Zhang, uh, 2018 winner of the New Horizons Prize in Mathematics. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so you grew up in China? Oh, yes. What are the differences between doing mathematics in China and in the USA? Uh, perhaps the biggest, biggest difference is the language. I mean, the language is different, first of all. So, uh, so, but of course, uh, there also might be a cultural difference, which, which might be very, very subtle to describe or you know, short uh, description. But also maybe another difference now I observe, observe is that uh, I mean, now the mathematics in China actually develops very fast. Uh, so 10 years ago or 12 years ago when I was a student in there, it was uh, kind of uh, even not easy to, to have access to certain uh, resources such as journals. Uh, but now I think it's already uh, not, not any sort of issue. Uh, so I actually, my pers personally, I visit Beijing very often. Uh, I find uh, there, we can f now we can find many people who work in the area, like I work. So I have a lot of common to talk about there. Uh, so maybe another thing is, Perhaps in US there might be more there might there might be more places you can you can go to uh, collaborate or do research. Or in China maybe now it's more focused in Beijing or some more uh, developed area. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us how you met Ji Wei Yun? Uh, Ji Wei, I we, I mean we went to college at the same the same time. So mm -hmm. I could have I could have you know met him much earlier because we also both participated. Math Olympiad in high school, so, mm -hmm. so we knew pretty early in the, that time. What's he like as a mathematician? Is he similar to you or he's, different? He's, and I would say we were, so we, we went to college together, but we went to, when we, when we, were into, uh, we, we went to graduate school, we were doing very different things. At a certain point, I thought we were probably never going to have anything in common. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was wrong. Even uh, in the last year of our uh, graduate study, I realized what we were studying were actually a lot of things in common. We actually were just looking at the same thing from two different, different angles. And is it hard to sort of find a common language with somebody who's approaching something in a different way like so, that? So, I, so I, I approach problem in a more sort of number theoretical way, but Ji Wei, he would approach in a more geometric point of view. But we have something in common, which is a, a group theory, so uh, which, which is a, a subject which, which studies a symmetry of, uh, of patterns or objects. So we, so we do have a lot of common from this point of view. That's where we started to, you know, to collaborate and to study, uh, to attack the same problem in the end. And you think looking at things from different perspective is key to making discoveries was, in math? That was definitely the key to, to, for our collaboration, I think. That helps a lot. Mm -hmm. So how, how did collaboration exactly help in this discovery? Also, like, like I said, in this collaboration, we, in the beginning, I, I was trying to do this. I was trying to attack the problem from, from my perspective. And he was doing from from more geometric point of view. Um, so one day, we suddenly found, found actually we each already had something, you know, from something that is about the same subject, but we just came from different 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 path. Mm -hmm. so. And is math mostly about just incremental progress towards a solution, or is it more about aha moments? Uh, I, I kind of uh, think they are both uh, both happen. Uh, definitely requires a lot of accumulation, but at a certain point, in the, in the last moment, it's very often to me, very often they actually came as a it was all of a sudden I actually came to realize all we had accumulated could work in the last moment, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, one moment. Do you think there's a single unified mathematics behind all the fields? Okay, that, that's, that's a hard to answer for me because I, I might not have a full, I mean, my, my, my don't, I don't have a very deep understanding for, for the other parts of math, but I do feel like um, mathematics, or at least even, even though, um, different parts of mathematics, they don't necessarily have a direct connection, but they all try to look for a simple a guiding principle, a guiding principle which is uh, as simple as possible to state, but that could also cover as many as as many possible uh, phenomenons, ph uh, phenomenons or to explain uh, or to discover or, or to, um, you know, to uh, to, to be able to tell people about a more 
the unexplained phenomenon. Mm -hmm. so, so looking for guiding principle in behind different mathematic phenomena, different mathematic objects, I think that's probably something which is behind all even different, very diverse uh, parts of mathematics. Mm -hmm. What do you do to take your mind off mathematics? Ah, so, uh, so I I would uh, now I would maybe spend time with my family or I used to like to practice uh, like a calligraphy or uh, but now I have less time to do that but so I play a little tennis or or, th or or I would also read some news or maybe why we don't want we don't when I don't want to think about the math for for a moment. But do you find if you're playing tennis or you're doing calligraphy that your experience yes. with math kind of comes into how you approach those two? Uh, no, they, they don't, they don't really. Uh, I, I, actually, I, 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 when I want to take off from math, I, I just want to completely forget about the mathematics. I mm -hmm. want to do something completely different uh -huh. to refresh myself. In the end, it would help to, for me when I go back to math, but for that moment, I would try to completely avoid anything to do with mathematics. Do you ever dream about mathematics? I did. I, I, I did sometimes, well, a few times. I did have, I, I, had, I had this kind of feeling that when, before I went to bed, if I had some problem which I had been working for a long time in my mind, even though I, even though I was in sleep, but when I woke up, something might actually came up even with a, big, with a, more, with a more clear picture. This mm. did happen once or a few mm. times, actually. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Did. Great. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Very thank nice you.